Hi there. Well, it's a week ago since I last spoke to you, and it was seven days after I had surgery, arthroscopic keyhole surgery, on my right shoulder for calcific tendonitis. Now, I'll tell you exactly what I had done so I can get it right. Here it is. This is what the surgeon wrote. Given his previous management, I have recommended consideration to a right shoulder arthroscopy, subacromial decompression and excision of calcium. The arthroscopy is when they stick a camera into your shoulder, keyhole, so a tiny incision, and they see what's going on. The subacromial decompression is they reshape a part of the bone, and the excision of calcium, well, as it says, they remove the calcium. Well, I had my dressings removed yesterday so I saw the wounds for the first time when I got to the surgeon and at first I didn't even notice them they were that small about a centimeter when I did see them they're just like four scratches there's four incisions four scratches from a cat um, it's a lot better than I expected which is quite a relief I never felt any pain after surgery and still haven't a little bit of tenderness the odd bit of tightness uh, the only time there's sort of aching is when I kind of lift it like that I've got a lot more movement. Uh, the surgeon said by yesterday I should be able to move it like that. And he told me that just after the surgery and I thought he was joking, but I could. I could lift it right up. I don't know if you can see that. And I told you I was going to get the results for a biopsy and a blood test to see if I had rheumatoid arthritis. They found signs that I might possibly have it or might possibly develop it. I've been given the all clear. No signs of arthritis. But, there is a but, it's not a serious but, but it's never less a but, I do have high cholesterol. Now, I can work on that, I can lose a bit more weight, yes I know I'm a little bit overweight, I can lose a bit more weight, I can eat healthier and have some foods with less cholesterol in them. But so far it's really good, let me just read a couple of the doctor's notes to you. Uh, he said, at the time of surgery, uh, William was recognised to have two calcific deposits within the shoulder. There was also a thinned area of tendon consistent with the recent calcific eruption. That was what I said I had in France when I had an acute flare-up, absolute agony. He said there was marked bursitis. Now that's a real aching and soreness of the shoulder. Got not good to have. And he said there was also calcium found in the bursal tissue. That's all sort of around this area. And that was causing the flare-ups, the lack of movement. It caused agony sometimes. Yes, there is a bit of tenderness after surgery, tightness, no pain, and I feel much better after having it. I have absolutely no regrets. It was definitely the right decision. I go back in February for my checkup, and he will see how my right shoulder has improved, uh, see if anything needs to be done. He'll also scan the left shoulder because I do have the calcific tendonitis in there as well. But it's not been as bad, although it has deteriorated. For the last couple of weeks, it's been okay, I have to admit, although it does ache a little bit. Because I use this a lot, because I can't, obviously, use my right side so often. It's limited. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a patient. And so, to make it all clear for you, I've put links at the bottom of this video to my previous videos and also information on calcific tendonitis and a type of arthroscopic keyhole surgery that I had done. After this video, on this same video, but just after it, I'm going to show you, I know it sounds rather glamorous, doesn't it? I'm going to show you the incisions I had because I wanted to go on the internet and I wanted to Google what the wounds would be like. And I found very few photos. So I've put some photos and a little bit of footage on this video showing what it was like when the dressings were removed. In my next video, I'll do it in about a week or so, I'll show you how the wounds have improved. Next Tuesday, and this is very important, I start physiotherapy. I will need physiotherapy for maybe up to three or four months, two to three times a week, to learn to use the arm and to gain strength. It could well be painful to begin with, but as my surgeon rightly said, think of it as healing pain. You know, we often think that all pain is bad. And yes, it is a warning signal, but sometimes we have to challenge ourselves within reasonable limits. And sometimes you have to push yourself. So you have to leave your comfort zone and that can involve a little bit of pain. Your body though will tell you when to stop, but push yourself with a professional and don't worry. The rehab exercises I've done at home have worked well. I've got a lot more movement. Physiotherapy starts on Tuesday. I'm actually looking really forward to it despite a little bit of nervousness. I'm actually quite excited because I am on the road to recovery. So links down below and photos and a bit of footage after this of the wounds that I've got. I hope you're well and I'll update you very soon. Thanks, thanks very much.